Hi, this is Lenore with Lights, Camera, Selfie. And today I'm setting up for a gala and ball. And to start with, they are starting with our photo booth. As you walk in, you will get to have your picture taken with the photo booth. So I thought today I would show you really quickly how easy it is to set up our photo booth. It's a salsa. We love it. First off, it comes in this wonderful case that has foam, foam, foam that is formed directly for the photo booth. And it sits in here and it's safe and sound. In addition to this, it comes with the cords and everything. There's compartments for each one. And there's a compartment for the actual photo booth and everything. And just in case you totally forget how to set up the photo booth on the outside, there is a QR code right here. And if you scan that, you can actually get step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up the photo booth. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to start setting it up and I'll show you how easy it is. So first off, you're gonna want to take mm -hmm. the actual photo booth and it fits right in nice and neatly. Then in addition, there's some foam mats that you take out. The next piece that you have is this floor pad. And you definitely want to put this down. I like it to where the back of the floor pad is on the back side facing the photo booth attendant. It just makes it easier and a little friendlier. Then from there, you want to take your cord that plugs into the electric and it has two different sides. As you can see on this side, it is the plug for actually plugging in to the top of the photo booth, which I'll show you in a second. So then from here, I just thread it up through the middle and I kind of have it down to where I know how much I need for both of the legs. I take out this second foam piece and the next thing you see in your photo booth box are your legs. This is just a divider, which is there to keep them separate. And so then the first thing you want to do is you have your base and it has screws on top and these screws on the bottom. So the first thing I'll do is I slide my cord through here to get it all the way through the base. Then I take it and I set my base down and you can really see there's two places to set your base. So you continue to screw this in on each side. Then if you look at the instructions, it tells you to make sure the little screw is in an X shape and not turned one way. And that's very important because it makes it easier to screw in the next time. And you can try to lift it up and you can see it's safe and secure. Then you want to pull out your second leg or stem, whatever you want to call it and slide the cord through, same exact fashion as before. Pull it through, and now you wanna balance this. So now you can see you're on the second level. And the good thing about this is if you're doing an event that is for littler kids or dogs, like Santa photos or different things, you can actually set the photo booth portion or the head directly on this. You can attach it and then you have it at their level instead of at the higher level. So now we're at the upper part and again you saw that I stacked it on there. You can start screwing it in and again if you have those two screws in the proper area then it works out. Again as I would until it gets nice and tight. And again, you can try to lift it up and you can see it's not going anywhere. So once again, you wanna line the screws up properly as shown in the instructions. And then you pick up the head of your photo booth and you can see now that there's a place right down here to attach the cord and the two screws for screwing into the base. So first I take this and I always attach it now I leave mine unplugged until I actually have it put together. I've been at places where the photo booth people have 
put it together when I plugged it. Slide the cord in as best you can. And then grab the little metal, what's actually here, they're little rubber screws, nice little handles and start screwing them in. Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. All right, so that part of our booth is all put together. So I put all my compartments back inside my case. Keep them there until the event's over so I don't lose anything. You can see it just lifts up and you can put it wherever you want to store it. So now we've finished putting the whole base together. Our photo booth head is on top. Now we have our cord that we had slid in through the bottom is still here. So now we have already plugged in to the wall outlet and it just uses a regular 110 outlet. Come on in. Now you have, in, in addition, when in addition, when you push this together, you will hear the actual photo booth fan come on. And if you've already programmed everything to be the way you want it, the color, the lights will also come on. So that is how we set it up. And then I always tape down my cord, which this one I'm gonna put behind the backdrop and then tape it up. So that is pretty much how you set up a salsa booth. It's pretty simple, easy going, comes in one single case to where you can carry it around. It really works out well. And as you can see, I, so as you can see that I plugged in my, my photo booth and the salsa automatically came on. I've already pre-programmed it for this event. So the lights are ready to go for tonight, but I'll show you all of that in a later video. If you are interested in a photo booth or how it can grow your business substantially, I encourage you to click on the link below, down below and check it out. There's an actual finance calculator on this program. And it will show you if in your area you can make $800 a night for a photo booth, how much you could make in a year, and you plug in the numbers, whether you think you can do it once a month, twice a month, or every day of the month. So it's all up to you, so check it out. And again, I'm Lenore with Lights, Camera, Selfies, and I hope you like this video.